Holland is pretty crowded. Our land is quite expensive, labor is expensive. So we have to be as efficient as possible. We have to be more efficient than others to compete. And that competition drives innovation and technology. We decided to go for not more hectares, but for more yield per hectare. And that's the moment that we start looking into precision ag, precision technology. A lot of people think it's science fiction, but it really is not. We have only 14 and a half hectares and we're producing around 100 million tomatoes a year. The idea about this greenhouse is we even use less water, we use 50% less energy. Our tomato plants grow in our hydroponic system, so we know for sure that everything is clean and we can steer everything very precisely. We use all the new techniques and all the innovations with a minimum impact on the environment. My definition of precision farming is doing the right thing on the right moment, on the right place. Of course, we're more sustainable because we use less input and that's economically good for me. We use a range of technology. We are using soil scans that measure the soil quality and the availability for nutrients in the soil. And then the thermal cameras can detect diseases or water stress implementing precision farming as a way of getting a better yield and a better quality. I still believe that farming is the job of the future. There will be more people, more amounts to feed and less area. We have to expand the yields of our food that much that we actually need the precision farming to do that. Sometimes uh, sustainable solutions are costing a bit more in the short term, but on the long term they should be more effective. And that's actually what we are seeing. You need to have the guts to invest in those kind of things for the long term. <laughs>